Welcome to Family Gamer TV. We're still at Toy Fair 2014 and in the Duncan uh, booth. That for me says yo-yos. My kids maybe wouldn't know that. Um, but we thought we'd um, update things with um, Takeshi. Yes. And I understand that it's your job to um, yo-yo. It is. I, I yo-yo for a living. I am a Duncan yo-yo professional. It's a tradition that started back in 1929 with uh, yo-yo demonstrators for Duncan, and it continues to this day. I get to run around and uh, teach people how to yo-yo. It's wonderful. And so was that a childhood dream, to, to do this sort of thing from a young age, or is it something you, you stumbled into, you found out you were good at it? And... Yeah, it's something I actually stumbled into while I was in college. Um, I picked up a yo-yo just to pass the time between classes, and uh, yeah, I found out that I was good at it. I couldn't believe it. Cool. Well, what we'll do, I think, we'll get you to show us some tricks, if that's okay. Absolutely. And then maybe we'll get you to talk us through that afterwards and give us some tips on how perhaps viewers might get started um, on the road to becoming uh, quite as good as you are. <laughs> My pleasure. As you can see, modern yo-yoing has come a long way. And what I'm doing here is a lot of intricate ins and outs with the string, popping it in and out, placing it on different string segments, and bringing it back to the hand. Uh, I'm using a light-up yo-yo. I'm able to swing both the yo-yo end around and the end that normally ties to your finger has a little counterweight that I'm able to swing around as well and keeping track of both ends, as you can see, is pretty tricky. One of the other classic skill toys that Duncan still makes today is this spin top. And the spin top is, of course, like everything else, has gotten modernized and now has ball bearings on the tip so it allows you to do so many more incredible tricks like landing it on the string and under the legs. Duncan Yo-Yo started by Donald Duncan in 1929, 85 years ago this year. Started with a whistling yo-yo, moves on to a wooden yo-yo where they had tournaments where kids would win Schwinn bicycles was the big prize in the 50s. As we move on, the first plastic yo-yo was made by Duncan, and then the plastic spin tops. Huge spin top and Duncan yo-yo promotions in the 50s and 60s. Flambeau, the company that made Duncan's plastic yo-yos, acquired the Duncan name in 1968 and started some amazing promotions, in, starting from Baraboo, Wisconsin. In product development in the late 70s, we went to a, a wider yo-yo and had a wheel design to it. Then the ball bearing yo-yo and freehand play came in in the late 90s, early 2000s. The modern Duncan yo-yo professional crew was established in the, in the early 2000s in six different countries, 70 crew members worldwide now. Uh, we now have a partnership with Disney Parks that it's going to be that started this year, 2014, and the winningest yo-yo in competition today is the Duncan Barracuda. So there you go. Not only a history lesson and a yo-yo lesson, but you know a complete picture of why someone could get into yo-yoing. So thanks for your time. As we get any final tips in terms of maybe families or children watching who think I'd like to do what you do? Believe it or not, it's that old adage, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Great. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.